So today I'm doing a conversion from a, an older radio with a cassette player into a new modern stereo with an additional added cubby hole. So let's get started. All you need is a T20 and I'll be taking out these four screws. One of them is broken, so I'll just be taking out the third one. And I'm also gonna take out the fourth one. Uh, you might wanna be using one of these little uh, magnetic trays. They work really well as far as your tools and you keep them. Here is our third one here. And these are pretty sensitive. Once you start yanking on these, you can definitely break these. This one was already broken. Uh, it, it is a 1990 uh, truck, so it does have little broken parts here and there. I'll try it out like that. Now on this side, there is two connectors there. Uh, that I'm going to be taking out. There's uh, four clips here. There's this one, this one, this one, and this one. Both here, one, two, three, and four. And because of this top portion piece right here, plastic, it gets just in the way, just right. And in order for me to get a little bit more space back here so I can put my hand, now I can put my hand right directly underneath I'm gonna there. take off this clip and I'm gonna take off this other clip. Actually, I can use this trim piece here. Press on that. As I pull on it, I tug on it back and forth. And wiggle it up and that one came out. So we got one of these are off. Now we have the other one to take off. This is all loose, uh, released. This will come out. And it's literally a clip. It, see how it actuates? I use my thumb right here. I press on it and the clip goes directly up. It lets me pull it back. This one, you won't be able to see it. And when you stick your hand back there, you'll hear this pop here. This is pretty misleading. But the clip itself, it's behind this, it's on the other side, and it's a pull out tab. So you have to stick a screwdriver in here and pull this tab up, up, and it'll allow you to pull. What I did was I stuck a screwdriver in there and popped that little tab out to the back. Okay, here it looks like we definitely have uh, two screws for these and four screws for that. And this comes off and all my screws are here at the bottom. Three bolts, which is the top one, the two side ones, which is three, and then you have four on this right here. So you pull this out just like that, and there's a fourth bolt. So this alone gets us access to our stereo. We uh, can now get in behind the actual stereo to get into the wiring. And this is a cassette player. Eventually the cassette player is just gonna come off. I might just take this off. Cause it's in the way and it's just a plastic piece. Once I got this cover out, uh, it'll allow me to work on this a little bit better. Got one here, it's gonna be one screw. On this one, I have to take off this piece. I have just three specific ones and I don't want to be uh, guessing on my work. So I'm on this one uh, here and here's my third one on the other side. And this plastic piece comes directly out, this little foam, you pry it out to the side. Now that I pry this off again, it's just like the other side. It's got four of these locking tabs. All you do is just pry them out now. I'm able to see my uh, cassette player, uh, little area there. And I'm see be able to see my stereo here, which is gonna give me more access to get to the cables that I want. I'm also gonna take off the lower panel right there where the wood trim is at. All right, so here's where I'm at. Uh, I got the face of the radio out, two screws here. This panel here has to come out. Uh, this is out as well, but these wires in the back all the way down to the amplifier right there 
Uh, this is just the fuse box. Uh, well, we have some fuses, but uh, this is coming off. It looks like it's only going to be a couple of Phillips screwdrivers. Here, uh, it came through and it actually was pre-drilled into there. But all you have is two Phillips, one here and one here, and that holds this panel together. And then this is the panel that you need in order for you to get access to your amplifier to disconnect. And uh, all they are is uh, they're push tabs. So I'm gonna push down on it right there and pull it straight down. That's it, just a little clip. So I got one wire harness down and I'll push on the other one and pull it. And it's another one. The wire harnesses just go straight right through here. Just for one here. Be able to pull it straight out. Here's the secondary one. And I was able to pull it straight out this way. And continue. And that's how it is. I pull this guy out. And I continue working on this other one because I have this additional uh, harness here. And actually, this is what was plugged in on the other side. You can kind of see it come out here and it came out. So this wire was rolled in all the way up and it came on on this other side. So it's part of this, it's what communicates on this side to this side. And the other one, I should just be able to wiggle it out. I should be able to pop it. You see it, it's snagged right here. Once I push it in, the more I push it in, the more my box is gonna be able to fall down and I can wiggle it out. Slowly wiggle it out. And I can see it popping out. I can actually see it right there. And then slowly pull it out. And that removes both of these. So both of these are removed. Set them over here. Yep. Two seven mils. One right here, one right there. And right up here, there is another one. And it's coming down. Got these three screws come out. And this drops all the way down. Right in there. All I did is I used my finger, pop the antenna cable. The antenna cable is floating now. Continue on the process. I'm bringing this down little by little. These connections, press on this one and pull on it. Comes directly out. Same thing for this black one. Push on the back side. Wiggle it, hasn't come out, and probably since stock. And that's it. I have these three cables that came out, the black one, the blue one, and the white one. I'm gonna take this off from the bottom here, and then I'm going to put that back up. Nothing wrong with it, it's just an older component and getting a new stereo. So this is gonna go over here with the pile components all right so these wires i'm eventually gonna tuck them in and i'm gonna push them in to the top side uh, you have to tuck in your wires from down there uh, across through here and in this section here an additional piece that has to come out is this piece of support uh frame uh, and again it's a seven millimeter here and there's a seven millimeter in there, all the way in the back side, right there. It's obviously the easy one, because it's in plain view. And the other one's gonna be a little bit tricky, so you gotta get creative. Okay, that seven millimeter came out. 
So this is what I uh, came up with. This is, it's just a, like a, this is a nine incher or a 12 incher. And this is a three inch. <clears throat> and attached to a swivel. And then you have your seven mil. That's the other seven mil that I gotta take out. The other one came out. It back on this it's two little tabs uh, they're kind of pointy and sharp but uh, these little tabs pop out they're like right here and this is where your two seven mils are and you just pop this little bracket out <clears throat> so I have my antenna connection here the other ones I got a feel for stick my hand underneath here find the cables my hands are midway just want to drag them and that one straight shot I got all three of the ones that came out of the amplifier. This is how it's going to be connected here. So I'm going to be splicing from here on forward. All right. So this is what you're going to need for this guy. It's going to go in like that. It's an adapter. And that is going to fit in right just like that. So we got this uh, with the kit. This is going to join in all the cables you took out of the amplifier. Uh, you're gonna get this white one. Uh, it's the smaller one here that's gonna join up. Uh, it'll click. Uh, you're gonna get the black one. The black one is here. Uh, you'll press that one in as well. The blue one is this bottom one. So the harness that came with this gave, gave me these guys here. And I have all the colors that I need to join this up. Now this is just gonna be plug and play yellow is gonna go with yellow plug that in together red is gonna go with red and we're just gonna go down the line other than that it's uh, pretty straightforward uh, I'm gonna start clipping all these together and then I'm gonna start putting everything back together so just a basic rule when you are uh, working with these wires and stuff like that uh, you have to clip them. I got these handy dandy little clippers here and it tells you what gauge they are. Uh, so I know this is a gauge 18. So I put it on 18 right there. Go ahead and clip it. If you don't know what gauge it is, uh, once you clip it on the wire itself, it's gonna tell you this is gauge 18. And these are pretty easy to use. If you never use these, you just pop it, pull it, pulls the wire. You spin it around a little bit more, a little bit bigger. Uh, a little bit spin around and you just pull it and it gives you a nice clean wire right there and that's what we're going to be uh, doing once we get a nice clean cut and you know this is a gauge 18 um, they have these butt connectors splice connectors uh, everybody calls them butt connector but they're splice connectors or splice connects uh, so this is, uh, it'll tell you what gauge these are for. And these are from 22 to 16. And this is an 18. You don't know how to read the gauges themselves. Uh, quick little lesson here. 10 is bigger. And you go down, the higher you go. So I said from 16 to 22. So it meets this gauge, 16, 18, 20, and 22. And this happens to be an 18. So this gauge is a good gauge for this butt connector. And what you do is, you're gonna slap this in there. This is my purple. I'm gonna start off with the purple. The last one is gonna be my blue one. Uh, and then I have purple and black and purple. So I have two purples. And then I'm gonna match it up with the purple. And then I'm gonna crimp it. I'm gonna use this older one here. It's, uh, it's a lot bigger. It's a lot beater up, more abused. But I'm gonna use this tooth right there. That's the tooth that I'm gonna use to put it in there and then crimp one side. Once I crimp one side, go ahead and put in the other side and then crimp. I like to crimp it as far out to the back as possible. Give it a nice big crimp there and keep it tight. There we go. So this is pretty tight and it, it got the other side. So I don't have to hold the other side. Now I just gotta identify and make sure that it's the purple that I want. Now I don't want my purple and black over here and I should have left the cap on. 
because they are pre-sliced and I just pull up the cap and I should have just left it on there. That way I don't confuse it even if I drop it and I don't come back and pull the wrong purple. So I have the purple, make sure it's the purple one only. Make sure this is, that's the purple and black. And I'm gonna put in, make sure I turn this, keep it nice and tight because I don't want that to come out. Press it in as far as it lets me. Then I hold it. Now what I'm gonna do, Press it. I'm gonna press it one more time. Okay, <clears throat> that's our first cable. Wire, and we're gonna repeat the process uh, going through it. here the only thing that I have to transfer over is gonna be these guys right here so I'm gonna head, go ahead and do that and then put this back on there pop that one out from there and pop this one out from here these two little clips come out and these come straight up just like that same way all I'm gonna be doing matching them this one came out just like that putting in just like that. What we'll be doing is just pushing that little clip in there. Before I can start putting this one in, I have to match up the, the back side of it. There is a dot right there. And it should sit. Should be a hole actually. This thing is not a hole, so it's not recessing that far enough. See, this thing should be completely flush on that section. So since it's not flush all the way to that section, uh, doesn't allow this to sit in there. And that's why it's a good thing to look at your parts before you actually install anything. So this is gonna take a little bit of fabrication to make that hole in there. Uh, it's a fairly not expensive part, but uh, it's just a little bit of fabrication to put all that back together. Notice this one. When I put it in, it's going to go in that hole right there. Nice and smooth. and allows this to go back. It gives me that play there. You need that play to go back and forth because this clip is going to go in on the lower portion of this. So actually, <clears throat> I just figured out a way to make this job easier. So you put in the clip, then you slide this guy in like this. And I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press from the bottom, push it up and it's gonna actuate and it's gonna push itself right in place. And that's it. Goes back and forth, up and down. So this is uh, see, it's my new one. This is my old one. Put this in place 
once you snap it in, it snaps in pretty tight, so it's pretty hard to take it out. So, same thing goes for this bottom one. My clips, just want to make sure that they're aligned. All right, that's in. Nice and snug. <coughs> Place my antenna in there. And my stereo. There we go. In a nutshell, that's a uh, stereo system. Hit this. Now I gotta finish putting all this back together and call it a day. I just put in these two screws here, seven millimeters. So there's four screws that are gonna go back in really quick. Bottom here has another one. This is another seven mil. Same thing, same ten mil, uh, seven mils. One seven, another seven. screws so this goes on want the clips to latch on on the bottom and I'm just gonna push them in Gonna clear this bottom piece here. So it's a little bit of a thing right underneath there and it snaps in place just like that. And it'll bounce right around this piece. On the other side it was a little bit more stubborn to get in there, but uh, I made it work. Fuse cover is gonna go like this and it'll clip on. Then the last thing, this foam comes in. Put my seven mils, gonna be three of them. One, it doesn't take much about 10 to 13 foot pounds. You can feel it <laughs> once it gets snug, they're on there good to have that nice and tight. Just get this one in the bottom. This clip goes in there and the other clip that goes there. Once I press that in, just like that on the top. So this is the third T20 screw. Uh, you go ahead and put that in and that's it. The entire, all the panels are put back together. And the last thing is just actually just enjoy your truck. Uh, know that all the trim, uh, this is the only thing that be added on there. Uh, since you don't have the actual stereo there, the old DIN stereo, you have a little cubby where you can put your keys or just use for additional space. Uh, just know that that's an option that you do have and everything else looks really clean and the stereo sounds amazing. Mm -hmm.